Okay, Virgo, you guys are next for a new moon in Aquarius read. So, <clears throat> if you like the channel, absolutely like, subscribe, hit the notification bell to be notified whenever I upload another video. That being said, let me get into your energy here. There was a pause with the in, anyhow. Like holding your breath. Why are you holding your breath? Yeah, there was a feeling of holding your breath. All right, let's pray. Great Creator, Father God, Divine Mother, Mother Mary, angels, ancestors, and spirit guides, I just pray and ask for wisdom and clarity for any messages needing to come through for the collective sign of Virgo. For this, their new moon and Aquarius read. In Jesus' name, amen. One more shuffle. I, I just can't get past the holding the breath. Yeah, it's doing it again. do go with monology deck monology manifestations and then curve tarot one off the top one off the bottom your dreams need a practical plan full moon and taurus and one off the bottom your commitment is being tested first quarter moon there's a holding your breath you can't listening This is when I'm at. <coughs> All right, one more shuffle. <sighs> nervousness? I don't even think it's nervousness. Is it nervousness? It's holding your breath. It's holding your breath. Last quarter moon in Sagittarius. Practice gratitude. New moon in Capricorn. Step up and lead. First quarter moon. And now I can't talk. First quarter moon in Cancer. Push through any insecurity. I am enough. I have enough. I am enough. I will be enough. I give enough. I receive enough. I have enough to give. I have enough space to receive. That's funny, my phone never goes off. It's shock, maybe? It's not shock. What is it? And it's not that either. I don't feel anything bad. Like an anticipation. Or, like it's not bad anticipation. It's not a, it's like a good into, it's, it's trying to like, not,
Like, you can't relax. Because I'm getting an example, but it was a bad example. Not a bad example, but an example of, like, bad holding your breath. When my youngest son first got sick, I was... I didn't realize it, but... And he was two. I, I was holding my breath for a good two years. And when I was able to exhale... It was when he was, like he had come through it and was out of the woods, if that makes sense. And then I was able to exhale. This is just, it's not like that though. That's not the feeling here. Nervousness. Stage right now. It's a long intake of breath. Just can't get past that. There's something about that. Now the cards aren't shuffling the right way. Like, I don't feel anything negative by that. It's just like a neutral feeling, though. It's not good or bad. It's just a... Being aware of your breath. Meditation, maybe? It's got to be meditation. Seven of Wands. Emperor. <laughs> there is your energy. That is you. Nine of Wands. I can see why the intake of breath. Why you're meditating. <laughs> There's, oh, that's funny. Look at that. First time in all these reasons this happened. Pulled two cards. That means one of them is hiding. It's like a secret here. The world. Completely different world. King of Wands is hiding behind it. King of Wands is Aries energy. But it's talker. Making social contacts. Like it's. Making business contacts. It's on the phone. Talking. Getting people on your side. Aries can be very persuasive when they're on the light side of that card. Shadow side of the card is throwing a temper tantrum. Being very defensive of your emperor status. It's like these two cards. Let me show you this bookcasing here. These two cards. Seven of Wands about clearing the decks. This is verbally getting people off your road. Okay? getting them out of the way. Nine of Wands being very defensive over it. These two cards with the Emperor, it's like big gates around the Emperor status. And putting up gates so that no one takes this. It's like very guarded. What are you doing? This is business moves. This is what this says. Queen of Wands. You got King and Queen of Wands here. And you don't... That's Aries. This is Sagittarius. You don't have to be those signs, but you got a couple here. King and Queen of Wands. I feel like with the King of Wands, that's very business-oriented. Queen of Wands is being authentically you. And it's... This is authenticity. Queen of Wands keeps coming up tonight. Especially with this new moon. So you got a couple here. Royal couple. With the world between it. Completely different world. Changing. <laughs> changing the world. Kept hearing that change in the world. Eight of Pentacles, this is working on yourself, learning new things. This is tending to your 
spiritual self. Three of Cups energy. I'm going to get back to that. Chariot. Chariot keeps coming out too. That door that's opening. It's been closed for a long time. <clears throat> There's another eight. Eight of Swords in your head. It's been closed for a long time, especially to some people. And the entire reason that it was closed is because the test was... I feel like it was external forces keeping the door closed for many people. Because of a sense of entitlement. So you have a small group of people that felt they were entitled to something that wasn't theirs. So what they ended up doing was barring the door for the collective and delaying them because they were they felt that they were entitled to whatever they were they wanted so what you're doing is preventing other people from getting to where they need to be to get in contact and help other people and with this new moon it's like the door is opening and that's the shift that everybody's been feeling is that everything's right in itself because the great creator only gives he's patient for a little bit a minute to God is nine months. So two minutes be 18 months. Three minutes is 27 months. I don't know why I'm going through this. 27 months. That is two years, three months. It's like you're trying to create a new world for this, for a divine feminine, divine masculine, whichever, there's no gender in tarot, whichever this person is that's coming in, you're guarding your emperor's status though. Like you're guarding something here. This is guardian. These are walls. This is gates. Third party. There's an energy here of third party. Third party situations could be, and this could also be celebration. I don't get that from that. I feel like it's third party. Um, there's light side and shadow side to each of the cards. Light side to this celebration. Shadow side is third party. Third party can be anything. Could be career, could be family members, could be friends, could be a um, previous romantic partner. That could be a third party. Could be yourself, could be your ego. Could be blockages, could be anything that's third party. Anything that feels that it's entitled there's the entitlement thing. Entitled to a hand in your relationship is third party. Entitlement keeps coming up with this new moon. It's the difference between entitlement and destiny and fate. There's a difference between it. Entitled individuals throw temper tantrums when they don't get their own way. No one says no to fates or the fates. The fates work together with time. I we keep seeing like weaving. What is that from? I know this. It's a literary reference. The fates weaving. What is it? Weaving? Um, I'm trying to get the line. I can't get the line. It's like weaving a garment time? Or times weaving a garment of the fates? It's almost like the um, lore of the dream catcher and the spider catching bad dreams. Whatever this is, though, it's like you're guarding yourself against something. You're clearing this out. This is learning something. Okay, 
you have eight and seven. Then in the middle you have three, third party. But here's another eight stuck in your head. Stuck in your thoughts. Going round and round about it. <laughs> this is making plans. This is taking every little detail. That's what this is. Taking everything into consideration. What is that line? It's got to be from Shakespeare. What is it from? Macbeth? Is it Macbeth? No, it's not Macbeth, is it? I can hear it in my head, but I can't hear it. Like, it's like far off. It's the witches. It's the speech. Is it Macbeth? I think it's Macbeth. Something about weaving. I need to find it now. Hold on. Of course, this thing I could find was the quote by, what is it? I still, I, I read the portion of the play, Macbeth, when I was sitting there reading it and looking for it. I feel like that's, it's like I could hear that like far distance in my head, but kept getting tangled web. So it's, what a tangled web we weave when first we practice to deceive. Sir Walter Scott, 1808, that's what I found. Um, that's what the third party is. Secrets. third party between these two but it's secrets it's it's like creating a world for this person coming in but guarding what you have <laughs> and it's okay chariots fastest move a card in the deck and it goes straight to eight of swords which is all up in your head So the chariot's running right into you getting in your thoughts. But the thoughts that you're getting into is, how do I do this? What steps do I need to do? And it, it's like little bits and pieces that you're taking care of. Playing it out to a T. Like every little thing. Holding your breath. The intake of breath and holding your breath. It's like nervousness. I'm getting ready to jump. It's hiding this. And still questioning yourself. That's what the Eight of Swords is, being in your head. And questioning every little decision you're making here. But you have two Aries energies here. The Emperor and the King of Wands. If you're in the light side of that Aries card, it's about making contacts, about making connections with other people, business contacts. Socially interactive. In the shadow side of it, that's temper tantrum. Another temper tantrum. See what I mean? The light side is very flirtatious, connective. Pulls you in. They can be very manipulative, especially if they're in their shadow side. This though is building a world with someone that's authentic. This though feels like, it's like very guarded. Protective. And trying to protect what you have. I'm intrigued by this. Wait a minute. Six of Wands. 
strength card, there's Leo energy that's about um, courage. And judgment. Courage. That's where the intake of breath was. <gasps> But it's as much about meditating as it is that quick, like, heart racing. <gasps> like, you don't know what's happening next. <gasps> Excitement, exhilaration, maybe. Exhilaration. Like, getting ready to jump. You have three eights, new beginning. This is what you're trying to put into place. Three of Cups, though, it feels like an like it's stagnant. Like it's there's something here not flowing. Like you're trying to clear out stagnancy. Six of Wands is victory and having the courage to step forward. But there's the Judgment card. Judgment in the world. There's one. It's difference between them. And the one is you. And it's making a judgment call to change the dynamics of your world. Wow. Queen of Pentacles. Four of Wands. One more. Four of Swords. Three Fours. They're coming out in threes. That means it's divinely led. The door that's opening for you. It's going to be a complete change, but you've already set things in motion because you know the door's going to open, you know it's going to open, and you're sitting there waiting for it. This is someone who's very intuitive. And knows this. Queen of Pentacles is receiving. That's receptive energy. The Pentacle. That's money. That's resources. I still keep going back to that speech in Macbeth. The, the witches. And plans. That's what it was. Plans. Like they were conjuring something. There were, there was plans that they were making. There was three. Isn't there three of them? Three is the number of divinity. The numbers are coming out in threes. Three eights, three fours. You're trying to back out of something. Like you're trying to escape. But you're escaping with as much as you... Like it's, it's this energy of another person, maybe? It's like protecting your emperor status. That's protecting resources. That's protecting money, land. That's protecting assets. Why do I hear assets? Four of Wands. Is about comfort, security. Four of Swords is resting and retreating. Then you have Queen of Pentacles here with two Queens. I feel like that Queen though is your energy. What is going on? And that'll be the third six. I think that's the third six. No, it's not the third six. The lover's card, Gemini. It's about choice. Choice has been made. towards this person know that is that the third six see one two no nope. 
Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Wands. You keep going fours, sixes, sevens, eights. Seven of Pentacles, planting new seeds. Eight of Wands, these messages incoming. This is new direction that you're heading. You know this because you've been standing in that hallway waiting for that door to open for a minute. More than a minute. The only thing you have to do is stay out of your head. Because when you get here, it's hard to get out. I feel like that's... Like it's coming in multiples, like numbers here are. How many eights have there been? Eight is number new beginning. Seven and seven. Eight, eight, six. It's twenty. There's another eight. Four and four. Six. Queen. You have four eights. Wow. Four eights. Number eight is new beginning. Four is about stability. This is about this is making a choice for your future, not anybody else. It's not taking anyone else in consideration. This is about you. This is about you. And this is moving forward through it. Three sevens. Number of creation. Like I said, you got four eights. You have one nine. There's that completion. That's funny. That's funny. This is the funny part about this. I'm a numbers person, so this is... You got eight of pentacles and three of cups. The difference between them is five. Five is number of change third party thing, you're done with that whole thing. I think it got old long time ago. You're removing that person. But this is clearing out space. That's what this is. That's what this is. It's clearing out space for this new person to come in. And making room for them. Wow. All right. For the collective sign of Virgo. This is your new moon in Aquarius read. Man, when you hit, when you know that door is going to open, you got prepared for it. Stay out of this, though. Be sure to look over the details twice, thrice. I heard thrice in my head, that's funny. <laughs> look over the details thrice, but don't stay there. Keep moving forward. And protect your plans, keep it hush. Love and light.